Tory barrier crystals. Whoever came this way didn't want to be followed. The enchantments are recent. What are they doing in the Hosberg wetlands? What's that sound? I don't know, but it gives me a bad feeling. This is the cursed manor. Lord Gaspin's treasure belongs to the Manator. They want Lord Gaspin's treasure, but look at this place. Is it really still here? cursed.
the cellar. Stay on guard. Got a body. Has a research notes. This man wanted Lord Gaspin's treasure to impress Elgadon. He's been studying the Andervels for quite a while. Look around.
This writing is old. If it was Lord Gaspin, whatever he thought was back here, it wasn't enough. He found a demon, or became the one we met. If the demon was the curse, at least we've kept it away from Lavendel. Once we're done, we can let Bastion know. Rook, always good to see people return. Means they're still alive. We went up to Gaspin Manor. You did? And the curse? Was it... Did the Blight wake it? Less the Blight, more like some Venatori. There was a demon haunting the manor. We stopped it. Huh. Well, we all knew something wasn't right. And thank you. There's one less evil to worry about. You've come a long way. If you want a short drink, you let me know. Another of their champions here.
I've had some practice at this.
This will open the way. Got it. First at Demetta's Crossing, now Lavendel. This could be the whole world. I've never seen a surge like this. This was farmland. You're right. It's... It's harder when you see what it once was. The bl Check out the ballista. Not useful. <laughs> you just want to shoot stuff. Against us attacking the boils. It's not happening. We need to stop it. down. And another sample. That should be enough to study. Yeah. Let's get back to Wefker and Antoine. Better be ready. Thank you. 
signs of a family that disappeared. This can't be all that's left behind. The blight was coming. But how? And what went wrong after? She thinks the others were possessed. Echo? Echo? This Echo made promises and then... Do you think it took them all? Whatever this echo was in the well, I think it possessed them. The more people go near it, the more it gets in their minds. It made promises it was never gonna keep. That journal mentioned clearing boards from the well. It was sealed away once. Whatever's down there, whatever you did to those people, I won't let you do it again. We're sealing the well. Sealing. It's done. No more echo. For now. The Voss family? Did you find anything? 
There was something in the well. It got to them. But we aren't supposed to listen. The stories. But it was sealed. It's sealed again. We need safe to go back. I'll bury it even deeper for Ursa. Thank you for letting me know. Miriam Dagus, vibrating, like a song in a wine glass, those voices. I hear you're the one who got that fancy Luvian up and running. I did. Well, most of the way, everyone helped out. So tell me, how safe is it? Any reason to be worried? Oh, you shouldn't worry at all. So it's safe then? No, just worrying won't help. Whatever happens would be instantaneous. Uh huh. That's reassuring.
Another of those was Fenharel altars. these buildings standing. Let's not linger here. Trouble coming. Time we destroy a blight growth, I feel like I need a bath. I'm ready. Tell me what you need. Another tendril gone. Don't let it get on you. That's not growing back. Another tendril destroyed. wrong is it the undead we've been fighting corruption seeps in dweller it overflows here staunch it that explains the bones even stronger.
This is where Taenor was hidden. This light here. She didn't mention that. Will it be new? Light spreads fast. Ah, oh, not good. That relic ended up lighting Horos. Another owl. Didn't make it. 
It seems he managed to destroy the relic. Taenor and Gus must be out here somewhere. We'll keep looking. Darkspawn. Wait. Is that? I think that's Tainor's. those bush I'm so sorry Tato and deserve this. One more veil jumper to find. The tracker, Gus. Let's hope we can still save him. Says Gus. Wait. The tracker Tainor talked about was a Nug. Oris's companion Nug. Let's get you home, little one. I hope Taynor is all right. I haven't seen her in days.
That's Gus. I wondered where he was. Haven't seen Auras or Taenor in a while either. I'm sorry. Gus was the only one I could save. Oh, creators have mercy. Poor Gus. Do you think he understands? I... I suppose I'll look after him now. Aurus wouldn't want him to be lonely. Thank you, Rook. Antoine? Antoine? Yes? Ah, uh, yes, the blight samples. They're like nothing we've seen, or anything in the Warden records. And I can... I almost hear voices in it. The gods calling the blight. I can't hear anything. But if you believe me... We knew things were bad. But if the blight's being called, the situation's more unpredictable than we thought. We need to... I give you two rain, and this is where it leads. Chasing Rook's lies. First Warden... Stay away I... from the Blight and the Wardens. How many times must you be told? Do you think titles and bluster scare me? And your venom is better directed toward your Magisters. Rook knew something was wrong. I can hear it in the samples. The gods... He's telling the truth. The Blight has changed, and that changes everything. It changes nothing. Your sensitivity to Blight is useful, Warden Antoine. But you've had more than one snake in your ear. He's trying to help. Enough! You tampered with a ritual that unleashed Blight. You did not know what you were doing then, and you don't now. If gods control the Blight, we need to change how we approach it. Archdemons control Blight, and we'd sense if one had risen. We'd make the sacrifices needed to fight it. But we... The Blight has increased. Now is not the time to lose focus. Wardens Evka and Antoine, are you sworn to combat the Blight? Yes, but... Then report back to Weishaupt and do so. That went poorly. Even for a talk with him. What an asshole. A lot of people are gonna die for his arrogance. Maybe. So much for convincing the Wardens. We can't give you the order, but you have us. We'll keep tracking the Darkspawn and the Blight. We'll do what we can. And if we learn the Gods' plans, you will too. The elven god of monsters had been hard at work. She'd taken the dark spawn and made them so much worse. Now, she and Elganon had their glorious new army. The risen gods were ready. And they had just the target.
He finally agrees to meet for a report, then he all but calls you a liar. I think you were included in that. Hmm. Thanks. I heard about this Nadas Durthalan spirit you found. I sure didn't expect that. Be careful. Things that pop, pop out of nowhere usually bite you in the ass. Like a thought? <laughs> Hassan? <laughs> and that beak of his hurts. I can't. 
can't believe how many people they executed. Why did Morgan want to meet in Minrathis? Isn't she helping the Veil Jumpers in Arlathan? Indeed. But today we have a guest, and she needed the anonymity that only a city provides. Well, look who it is. Good to see you, Lace. Rook, you remember how Varric and I served the Inquisition? Well, this is Inquisitor Lavellan, the woman who led us all. It's an honor to meet you. Relax. I won't be trying to arrest you like the First Warden. You heard about that? Dorian Pavis is an old friend. He filled me in. Indeed. You have had many eyes upon you, Rook. Morrigan and Harding have told me about what you've accomplished since taking over for Varric. You've put together an impressive team, and you've got the best chance, maybe the only chance, to stop Elganan and Gillanane. Been doing what we can, but I'll be honest. Right now it feels like we're in over our heads. You've already faced setbacks. You'll face more. Your actions will have consequences. Did you see what happened to the Viper? We know all about consequences. Such thinking is a trap you can ill afford. The Viper was blighted because of Elgin and Gillanane, but the city of Treviso was saved because of you. I can't tell you that it's going to be easy. Or that you'll look back at every choice you made and be satisfied. But I'm asking you not to worry about that future until we have one. Right now, we need you to stop the gods. All right. I'll do my best. And while you do so, Rook, the Inquisitor will do her best to ensure that the rest of the world remains intact. A daunting prospect, given that most of the South is under siege by Darkspawn. It's that bad? If not for the Inquisitor, the South would have collapsed completely. She has not been idle while you assembled your team. If the South is in such turmoil, why come up here just to talk? And how did you get here so fast? Did you think you were the only one to unlock the secrets of the Illuvians? Morgan helped the Inquisition use the Illuvians to travel. While I lack the Dreadwolf's Viravas, I may still scurry between the walls of this world to be where I might do the most good. The Inquisitor asked to meet you, and I thought it might help you to meet her. I thought the gods were mostly active up here. It's really that bad in the south. Elganon and Gillanane have indeed restricted their activities to the north. But the forces they deployed to the south, the strange new Darkspawn, have spread fear and corruption greater than any blight in history. We think their goal is to prevent the south from rallying to aid any war effort up here. It's working. The armies of the south have their hands full protecting their own cities. But some friends and I are doing what we can to rally them together. Again. The south is my problem, not yours, Rook. You stop the gods, and I'll make sure the rest of Thedas doesn't fall to the Blight. I've been having some trouble getting people in authority to listen to us. If you help with some of your political strength... My... political strength? Tevinter hates me. The Venatori helped make sure of that. And while I have a few friends in the Wardens, their leadership hasn't much cared for me since we clashed at Adamant Fortress. 
The Inquisitor did not come all this way to leave you with empty words, however. She brought something no one else could. A wolf statuette? Something to do with Solus? I found it right around the time Solus's ritual failed, when he was pulled into the Fade. We've examined the magic, and it's tied to the Veil. To him. Somehow. Solus is ancient, and his magic is part of him in a way far beyond that of mortals. I suggest you take it to the crossroads and see if something in the lighthouse calls to it. Perhaps it will yield some insight into your new ally. I appreciate it. Solus has been helpful while he's trapped in the Fade. But anything that can help me get inside his head will help counter him getting inside mine. Wisely spoken. Solus rarely lies directly, but he finds ways to weave the truth into a noose you find yourself wearing. Solus was... important to me. If this statuette helps you understand him, if it uncovers something that... Honestly, I don't know. I wish I did, but this feels like a part of him, and whatever he and I once were, I think, I, I hope, it might help you. We should go, Inquisitor. The armies in the south need you. Right. Harding, stay sharp. You're my eyes in the north. Always, Inquisitor. Rook, good luck. If I come across anything else that can help, You'll be the first to know. Thank you. We should take a break. Head back to the lighthouse for a bit. Rook, just got word. First Warden's calling everyone back to Weishaupt. Everyone except me, seems like. Guess the First Warden didn't like me joining your team. Calling Wardens back from all over Thedas is a big step. Did he give any reason why? Not exactly, but I've heard rumors of a massive Darkspawn horde on the move. Even hearing there's an Archdemon with them. How long do we have? A day? A week? Darkspawn are charging through the deep roads. Makes it hard to get an accurate idea of where they are. Rook, if the gods have an Archdemon. Warden lore says Archdemons only show up during a blight. Doesn't say anything about elven gods. Seems like the rules have changed, and we're going in blind. We need to know what we're up against. I'll talk to Solus. See if he knows anything about any of this. Make sure the others are ready to move. You cannot do this, Algernon. You swore that we would give up our commands when this horrific war was over. Our people need our leadership. If you're unwilling, leave. Our people must rebuild, and we must help unite them. 
So, we did not fight for freedom, but to conquer this land and our own. We fought to win, and now the Evanuris are as gods. I do not answer to Mithal's annoying lapdog. The people are afraid. They must believe in something. They need strength. And wisdom. They need gods who can protect them. We are not gods. You will learn that. Every lapdog hides a wolf inside. That was strange. They were speaking Elvin, but I understood it. I believe we have experienced a memory in each of our native languages. Not just any memory. One of the Dread Wolves. And the mages who declared themselves my gods. Well, mine and Dapren's. Anyone see anything in that memory we can use? Elgrinon was hungry for power. Did anything he could to get it, and to hold on to it. Then Solus, furious at Elgonon's installing himself as a despot, started his rebellion. There's another moving part in this. Mithal. She was keeping the peace. Mithal and Solus were close. The Inquisition found a temple to Mithal, and there were wolf statues everywhere. Then she sides with Elgernon over him, a betrayal. I think I get where Mithal is coming from. Really? You've just finished some big war. Everyone is exhausted, and now Elganon won't give up power. If Mithal sided with Solus, would Elganon have backed down? Not a chance. It would have led to another war. Mithal tried to keep the peace. And Solus must see that, but still can't accept that she chose peaceful politics over his ideals. Perhaps these murals aren't simply memories. They're what Solus wishes to forget. His regret. That means they're a way to learn his weak points. Why are we worried about Solus? He's trapped. Right. But the Dread Wolf was the god of trickery. He's looking for a way out. Bet on it. Meanwhile, keep your eyes open in the crossroads. If there's a way to restore the rest of these murals, Solus would have kept in his hideaway. It'd be nice to get inside his head for a change. How fares your battle? The gods are moving against Weishaupt and the Grey Wardens. We've heard rumors the Darkspawn are being led by an Archdemon. And you have questions? I need to know how Archdemons relate to the gods. Are they just like the Blighted Dragons, or are they something else? I also need to know how to deal with the gods if they show up at Weishaupt. I propose a bargain. I will answer your question, if you answer mine. What? How are the Grey Wardens? Do they understand the truth of the danger yet? No. The First Warden still refuses to listen. As I feared. I tried diplomacy, I tried being firm. Nothing worked. When I asked you why you should be trusted to lead the fight, you said you were no stranger to fighting stronger opponents. That sufficed for me. But the Grey Wardens fight Darkspawn and Archdemons, foes no one else can stand against. They see themselves as the best prepared for this battle. You cannot defeat Elganan and Gilanane without the Wardens. What will you do to bring them to your side?
I don't have to convince all of them. I just have to convince the first warden. Or remove him. Enjoyable as that is to imagine, I doubt the rest of the wardens would approve. Did you know the Evanuris once numbered many more than those whose names survive in the Elven Pantheon? One warlord was particularly cruel. I sought to free his slaves, but so fearsome was his reputation that none would join me. What did you do? I made people laugh at him. How did that help? For twelve years. Every sound near him, from whispered pleas to shouted oaths to crackling fire, all became mocking laughter. His mind broke under the ridicule, and when he fell, his slaves rose up and joined me. I doubt laughter is going to work on the First Warden. If not that, then what? Whatever it takes. Easily said. But it will have to be enough for now. You have answered my question, and I owe you an answer in return. Yes, the old gods of Tevinter, the Archdemons. There never were Tevinter gods. The Archdemons, as you call them, were always merely the weapons of the Evanuris. All right. Let's hope we can find the gods before they find their weapons. Unfortunately, the Dragon Thrall's life force is bound to the Evanuris as both power and protection. You will not be able to kill or likely even harm one of the Evanuris until their Dragon Thrall is slain. What can you tell me about the Archdemons themselves? Each is different, shaped by the whims and ego of its master. Elganon is the Lord of Tyranny. He would have ruled alone had Nathor not forced him to share power. Those who are strong, he molds into dictators themselves with visions of godhood. Those who are weak, he crushes. His archdemon reflects him. It is huge to feed his ego, the epitome of dragonkind, bent to his will. Elganon sounds legitimately terrible. He is cruelty and arrogance personified. All of the Evanuris were flawed, but he made all of them worse. By contrast, Gilanane was a servant of Andrew, whose skill at making monsters earned her promotion to the Evanuris. She is brilliant, ambitious, and unconstrained by anything you would understand as morality. In a kinder world, you would never need to see what she has done to her archdemon. In this world, I only hope you kill it quickly. In any event, the Evanuris will not be vulnerable until their archdemons are dead. The old stories of the Tevinter gods have them whispering in the dreams of ancient Magistus. How did they do that if they were just tools of the elven gods? The Archdemons were once High Dragons. The Evanuris bound them as a source of power. When I imprisoned the gods, their dragons remained free. That was my mistake. How so? I never bound a dragon to myself, for I believed that to enslave another creature was immoral. As such, I did not understand the power that connection gave. I thought the prison I had made was perfect. But their dragons were the conduit through which they spoke to dreaming minds. Any other surprises we should know about? Even with their dragons dead, the Evanuris are powerful and well protected. You will need to use my dagger, the one you recovered. It can pierce their enchantments and strike them down. All right. Kill the Archdemons, then use the dagger to take down the gods. Even a single opportunity to strike the Evanuris down will be rare, fleeting, and costly. You will not have another chance to catch them unawares. When you strike, you must be fully prepared.
the Dreadwolf. Turns up everywhere, doesn't he? Ravain is on pretty good terms with the Dalish clans. We get Elven stuff here and there. So, your mom wanted you to lay low, and now you're with us. And because I wanted to be here. wanted you to lay low, and now you're with us. And because I wanted to be here. <sighs> then it looks like we've pleased everyone. Isn't that novel? Yeah. Great. These are the crows that were supposed to be picking up supplies. Looks like they were ambushed.
Manfred, how does he work? I'm sure Emmerich would fill you in if you asked. Yeah, but he'd add details. All right, then. The bare bones answer from the non-necromancer. You get your parts, put the skeleton together, some fancy ritual later, and you've got a wisp inside running the show. Manfred's a wisp? Like the ones at your desk? You could make a bunch of moving skeletons? Me? No. Not without some research I don't want to do. Don't worry, those wisps... Sustaining wisps. Good. company. Look at those waterfalls. It's like every drawing of Ravain made real. Got it. Looks like the Antam got the supplies that were meant for the crows. We need to get those supplies back, and pay back the Antom. Some kind of puzzle with torches or fires or something. Make a treasure out of it.
I heard you fought a dragon in Minrathis before I joined up. Yeah, the Shadow Dragons and I dealt with it while Rook and the others fought a second in Treviso. Though you could call it more surviving than fighting, we barely drove it off. But now we have a dragon hunter, so here's to better luck next time. That's what I'm here for. Door's sealed, but those figures next to it look different. Might be a clue for how to open it. Here comes trouble. Here we go.
Prisoner. She's still alive. Made it through. The Antom kept me alive so they could use me to trick Ravain into sending more supplies. I didn't think anyone was coming. The Lords of Fortune wouldn't abandon you. It's the least we could do for the Crows. Thank you for your timely arrival. I'll get the supplies to Treviso and pay back the Antom there. Like we made a door.
same ocean as the one next to Hal's fish stand. Feels different here. Can't do this without a wisp.
through there when the gods escaped. Sure was. What was it like? Strange. Chaotic. <laughs> Nightmares that took so long. That's messed up. Yeah. Doors open.
shores. Hey, Nev. Let me know if you need help on ladders. Ladders? Your leg... thing? One of the lords. Fenced, he lost a hand. Climbing ladders hurt his shoulder after. He told us eventually. Then we helped him on the ladders. Your foot's got a hook shape. It might get caught. My work leads strange places. <gasps> Let's finish this. He told us eventually. Then we helped him on the ladders. Your foot's got a hook shape. It might get caught. My work leads strange places. If ladders have my number, I'd be out by now, but... this? It looks like an entryway. Yeah. Wait. What happened? This doesn't feel like the Fade. More like a dream or... Andaran Atishan. Lassa Gilan. Spirits. Fade friends, come forth. Enter the circle. Reveal yourselves. Solus, is that him? Not the real one. Spirits, the Dreadwolf asks for your assistance on a crucial mission. Does he think I'm one of these spirits? The false gods, the Evanuris, have overreached. I shall humble them. Within this citadel lies a relic, with the power to imprison even a god. With it, I can bring their tyranny to an end, forever. You are spirits of chaos, disorder and disruption. We ask you to disrupt the citadel's defenses. Give us the opening to get that relic. For freedom! This is a memory. We're seeing the past, when Solus sent this spirit army against the gods. If we're spirits of disruption, let's act like it. <laughs> yes. Spirits, how did the wolf call up so many? <laughs> Memories are real enough to sting.
can go. Focus. We're through. The gods told us his fortress couldn't be breached. More enemies. Go. Change their plans. Elganan may be a tyrant, but he is not a fool. That means the relic is genuine. We are close, and Elganan is afraid. Put our strongest in the vanguard. Prepare to breach the citadel. It will not be easy, but we shall win the day. Disruption, lead the charge and do what you do best. Whatever champions the gods send against you, bring them down. More of them. Death to all tyrants! Reinforcements! We need more reinforcements! You must hold fast! For victory! Disruption fought to the last, and it was all for nothing. We couldn't take the Citadel. Wait, that body's me. It was not for nothing, my friend. The distraction the spirits gave us allowed our agents to retrieve the relic. Distraction? No force could have breached their Citadel. But it was necessary for the enemy to believe we were committed. A heavy sacrifice, but one that gave us a real chance to end the war. You knowingly sent all those spirits to their deaths. Solus, we're supposed to be better than that. They died true to their nature, doing what they loved, Falasan. Let that be a comfort, that this war did not corrupt them into something different from what they were supposed to be. Ruse. That's all it was. By this point, Solus didn't care who he sacrificed if it meant stopping the Avenues. It doesn't matter how sad you are about doing evil crap if you keep doing it. The memory's sort of condensed into that statuette. Maybe there's more to this.
Your foot's got a hook shape. It might get caught. My work leads strange places. If ladders have my number, I'd be out by now, but thanks for asking. Although, your horns have a hook shape. You worry about them getting caught? Shit. I do now. Usually have to dodge traps and fight spiders to see this much old elven stuff. Talk to Isabella if you want to sell any of it. She'll get you a good deal. Spoken like a veteran treasure hunter. Yep. For gold and glory. The lords make runs no one else can. Isabella's undies would catch fire if she saw all this. So why do the lords of fortune care enough about dragons to have a dedicated dragon hunter? Lots of great old crap ends up in dragon hordes. Why do dragons care about gathering treasure? It's not like they go to the market. Dragons like metals and gems. Anything glittery catches their eye. So they're like really large magpies? Hmm. Kinda. And they live for centuries. Lots of time to gather a bunch of shiny crap. Plus all the gear carried by idiots who thought they could kill a dragon. Bet you deal with a lot of nasty traps during those treasure hunts. Yep. What's the most complicated one you've dealt with? Old Elven Armory. Had letters on tiles. Probably supposed to spell out the name of a god or something. Probably. I don't read Elven. Found handholds in the ceiling and swung across. That sounds more like a puzzle than a trap. Ugh. Puzzles. But puzzles give you a chance to test your wits. To prove you're smart enough to beat whoever designed it. Ugh. I ran into one while traveling with Varric. It had these three poles with sets of different sized rings on two of the poles. And you had to move the rings over to the third pole? And the rings had to be sized right and crap? Yes. Uh, you've seen it. That thing is Vashadon.
Feel free to use the ancient elven artifacts for weight training, but nothing leaves with you, okay? Don't worry about that. The Lords of Fortune aren't thieves. Most of our shadow dragons are wanted for worse than theft, but if some lords are in it for themselves... Nah. Anything we hunt is salvage. Old forgotten ruins and crap. And we make sure we're not screwing over a culture that lost it. That's what my mother does with the Kunari stuff. So, your mother appraises Kunari artifacts the Lords of Fortune find? Yeah. She tells them how rare something is. How much it might be worth. Also tells them if they found something cultural. Cultural? You know, important. Stuff you don't want going to some rich noble's collection. The Lords send that stuff back to the Kunari in Parvalin. They pay the Lords a finder's fee. Just a finder's fee? Yep. But the Lords at the top could be charging anything for these artifacts and you wouldn't know. I know what happened to the last Lord who bled a contact. That's enough. The Lords are good people. They helped my mother when she came here from Kantar. She got here with nothing but me and the clothes on her back. The only skill she had was Kunari history. The Lords gave her work. How does the Ravani Royal Guard feel about the Lords of Fortune? They used to complain about us. But that was before the Antam invaded Ravain. And now Ravain sees the benefits of having a bunch of heavily armed people on their side. Same for the Pirate Armada. It's bigger than Ravain's official navy. But we're also helping save old artifacts. The Antam are burning ruins as they move south. We get artifacts out before the Antam destroy them. Magical stuff. Cultural stuff. Stuff you don't want to lose. We should do this again. Grab a drink. Share our tallest tales. Okay. I was gonna go back to Ravane later. Got a thing to do for my mother. You can come along. If you want. Do I need to be ready for combat? Or traps? Nah. Alright. Just let me know when. I was not certain you would come. You were the one who walked away. I never turn my back when my friend meets me. The Avenue seek the magic of the Blight. Impossible. The Blight is safely sealed away forever. No, I wish I could believe you. I have sensed the breaking of the wards. I will investigate your claims. If they forget the danger of the Blight, I will endeavor to remind them. What if, instead, you left the Evanuris? and remained with me. Do you not wish for freedom from this struggle? Be at peace, love. I will stop them. As you must. The blight is our mistake. Did Mithal call Solas love in that memory? That's what it sounded like. So they were doing it. The elven gods were free with their emotions. They felt things deeply. The way they expressed things, well, it feels romantic to us, but that wasn't really how it was. Back then, I mean. Nah, they were doing it. As someone who has Solus talking in my dreams, I'm with Ballara. I just can't see Solus carrying on a secret affair with Mithal. Can't because you don't think he would? Or can't because you don't want to think about it while he's in your head? Yes. So the Dreadwolf goes to Mithal. They might be fighting, but they have history. And he warns her about the other god using the Blight. That's more important than his rebellion. It's like kingdoms coming together when an archdemon rises. Mithal didn't think it was possible. She said the Blight was sealed away. There's an old legend about it. Davern, the one with Andruel's armor? Not sure it matters. 
We're deep in elven lore already. What's the legend say? Right. Well, Andrul was the goddess of the hunt. She put on armor, magic armor, made us something called the Void. Drove her mad. I remember this one. The other gods were afraid Andrul would turn on them. She was doing all kinds of horrible things, causing plagues. It does sound like the Blight. Well, it all ends with Mithal fighting Andrul. After, Mithal turned into a dragon. She what? Why didn't you start with that? Anyway, she took Andrul's armor away. Then Andrul's madness left, and peace returned. Intriguing. So it's possible Andrul stumbled onto the magic of the Blight. And when Andrul went mad, Mithal took it from her and locked it away. Until someone started using it again. Okay, Solus warns Mithal about the other gods using the Blight. It's not just bad, it's something bad he feels responsible for. The Blight was our mistake. How is the Blight their mistake? Do they find it? Do they make it? What does that mean? Whatever it was, it convinced Mithal to take him seriously. So Mithal goes off to investigate what Solus says. Then, what? It's too clean. Seems plenty messy with them doing it. But this isn't just a memory. It's something Solus wanted to hide. What's the crime? What did we see here that he feels guilty about? I think I might know. When the Inquisitor was saving the world from the Breach, she met Mithal. What? Like in a dream? It was complicated. She helped the Inquisition. There was a magic pond and a dragon. Nice! The point is, she also said the other elven gods betrayed her, killed her. Okay, sorry, point of order. If they killed Mithal, how was she still around to help the Inquisition? Elven god magic? She'd spent centuries gathering strength and sharing people's bodies, I think. If it was a truly benign possession, that speaks to her character. Solus goes to Mithal, the one semi-reasonable elven god for help, and the other gods kill her for it. I imagine the Dread Wolf's rebellion heated up significantly after that. Right. And Mithal wasn't there to keep the other gods in check anymore. Well, it's not just that she died. What do you mean, Tosh? It's... Ugh. There was stuff he wanted to tell her, but he waited too long, and then she was dead. He never got to make it right. That twists you up. That's it. There's our crime. Doesn't really tell us anything we can use, though. We know more than we did. That's something. Then I guess we keep our eyes open if we come across more of these memories. 